Yo, what is going on guys? It's Darkest here. Today, we are not going to have the normal video, so if you guys don't have an analog keyboard, I do not recommend watching this video. However, if you do, this is the video for you. So, the reason I'm making this video, this isn't a typical video, but the reason I'm making this video is because I struggled a lot with this, like doing this myself. Um, so I thought a lot of people could find this information useful, which is why I'm putting it out, because I see no videos, nobody's talking about this. So essentially, I bought the Razer Huntsman V2 analog keyboard, and it's going to be really nice for making content because it has analog uh, like keys, which are pretty much controllers, and uh, it gives a pretty big advantage on PC because analog like com controller movement is actually a lot different than keyboard movement. Believe it or not, I'll show you guys that in a minute. However, I'll drop two hundred fifty dollars on a keyboard, and um, I was trying to set it up for Fortnite, and I could not figure out how. So. This is the video you guys want to watch if you want to figure out how to set it up for Fortnite. Trust me, I felt like such an idiot when I figured it out, but I guarantee you guys probably, if you're watching this video, if you search this video up and found this video, you probably had the exact same problem I had. So I'm going to walk you guys through all of it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I just want to put it out there. This doesn't have to be just for Fortnite. It can be for literally any game that you want to use the analog switches for. Um, I have personally got the new Razer... Huntsman V2 analog keyboard. Uh, it was 250, but I know a lot of you might be using the Wooting as well. You can still learn from this video using Wooting. Um, however, later in the video, I will be showing you guys how to set it up on Fortnite because that's where I ran into most troubles with. However, some of y'all may be still curious because I spent hours on this. This is a brand new keyboard, guys. There's no like I found no tutorials out, so this is why I'm doing this. Uh, I don't really typically make these videos, so pretty much what you guys got to do it's literally this simple. Press bind. WASD to controller joystick. Turn that on. What's going to happen if you come over here? Uh, all your buttons are going to be here. They're going to have the normal functions. However, WASD is not going to work. You got to turn the setting off down here when you want to actually type using any four of these letters. However, when you're in the game, you, you turn it on and off, which is you know, a little annoying. I wish there was like a button you could press to toggle it, but unfortunately, as of now, you can't. You have to go to the application manually. doesn't take too much effort. But pretty much, once you got it as WASD, you are going to unbind your WASD in whatever game you're using if there's an unbind option and it's literally gonna walk around like you're using a controller um now I'm gonna go over to Fortnite and show you guys what I mean so yeah I'll catch you there alright guys we're in Fortnite which is where I'm gonna be displaying this and uh this is pretty much gonna be the hardest part this is where I got stuck at for hours you're gonna come over here you're gonna have ignore gamepad input as off and then lock input method as mouse on. Sorry for that notification. Um, I don't know why that just annoying. Anyways, have these both. These are really important. Then you want to go over to your controller settings. These all don't matter. Uh, but what does matter is your dead zone. You want to have these both at, at 5%. Um, that's the lowest you can have. And then at, over at your movement, it's probably going to be look like this. This is probably what it's going to look like, guys. Let's not let me buy it. Oh, yeah, because I have the setting turned on here. Let me turn off that setting. I showed you guys in the last clip um w a s d is what it's gonna look like right what you guys wanna do is just click all of these x's right here it's gonna unbind all of that trust me now you wanna press apply back and guess what guys if you have the uh... the w a s d to controller joystick setting on and razor i'm sure you can do it easily in the wooting uh... thing i saw a bunch of videos on it it's that simple now you can walk around in fortnite i got a speed boost for some reason um... so yeah I know I'm using the keys, but it thinks I'm on controller right now. And if you guys don't believe me, I'm, I'm going to go to settings. If we turn this setting off, we don't want to keep this setting on. But just to show you guys, I'm going to turn it off. Right now it shows on my controller, but as soon as I, or I mean a uh, keyboard, as soon as I press W, A, S, or D, it shows it on my controller, guys. Because it think it's reading it as a controller. Now if I try to do mouse, it's going to like glitch like that. You see how, and watch, watch me trying to build, guys. It's not going to work. Yeah, I'm literally... Turbo building, it, it just won't work. Um, so you guys will have to um, have that setting turned on. That's why it's important. However, this is me showing. And if y'all don't believe me, look. That's me doing it right there. So, um, yeah. It's that simple, guys. Um, so if you guys are wondering now, I don't have three, like you guys are probably thinking, I don't have 360 degree movement. You told me. I, you know, you could get 360 degree movement in Fortnite. I ran into this exact same problem. And uh, what I mean by that 
is you're going to walk around and you're going to notice when you try to turn, it's just normal. And when you strafe, look, when you strafe, it's that normal strafe, not the controller strafe. Let me show you. I'm, I have a controller right here, guys. I'm going to plug my controller in and show you guys what controller sh strafing looks like, just to showcase if you guys don't know. Controller movement is a lot different than PC movement. Anyways, I'm going to try. This is strafing on controller, right? You see how much wider it is? And then this is this is PC. This is PC right here, guys. You guys see the difference? Which is a reason a lot of people want to want to have this keyboard actually for Fortnite especially. So you guys are probably thinking, you know, in here let me show you. Uh also typically you can't like do this build like this, you know what I mean? Even though we got all these settings turned on, it's not working. Now if you're on the Wooting, it should work. Uh, especially if you have the Fortnite uh strafing option on. But if you are using the new, brand new Razer keyboard like I am, the Huntsman V2, it's probably not going to work, guys. I felt like an idiot when I figured this out, guys. All right, I'm about to tell you guys what you're doing wrong right now. It's literally the, the most simple thing, and it took me hours to figure this out. And I saw everybody on Reddit complaining about it because I was trying to figure out how to do it for my video. It's this simple, guys. I'm going to point the camera down a little bit. This is literally what you need to do. I'm going to scoot my keyboard over. You just got to barely hold down on W. And then hold down on D or uh, uh, A, either one, depending on which way you want to go. And your strafes will be wide as on keyboard. Or, I mean, controller. You got to barely touch W because that analog. When you hold down on W, it don't work. Okay, guys, this is Future Darkest here. Um, I almost forgot the most important part of this. For this to work on Fortnite, you need to go over here and... Uh, Obviously, you have the setting turned on still when you're in Fortnite. What you need to do is uh, click on any one of these. Click on this. Click on that. Controller. Analog sensitivity needs to be on standard. Has to. Be, it will not work if it's on any uh, one of these. It has to be on standard. Straight going up. Um. Yeah. That's simple. Anyways, guys. Um. Also. Uh. Just for good uh measures, make sure your W A S D. But even before turning it on, is at 1.5. Both of these on one. Any other key can be on anything. WASD needs to be on 1.5. It's that simple. Back to the video, guys. You gotta barely touch it and then hold down on D. And you guys will see your strafes will become a lot. Let me show you guys. For example, barely hold W, right? I'm messing it up, guys. Hold on here. Hold on here. Barely hold it. It takes a minute to get used to. Look, 360 degree movement. Barely holding W. You can look around. Um, barely hold W. You can look around here. That 360 degree movement. It's there, guys. Let me, and just to show you guys, on controller, you can always do this. Plug my controller in. Look at this, guys. Every time you can do this because there's 360 degree. Oh, I gotta turn the. Oh, I gotta turn that setting off real quick, guys. Um, where is it? Right here. Okay. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Just like on controller. Just like on controller. Oh wait, I have the. <laughs> forgot to point the face cam. Just like on controller. It's that simple, guys. So if you guys learned something from this video, which I hope you all did. Leave a like. Um, it was really that easy. That's a little tutorial how to do it, though. Uh, I'm going to turn the setting back on because it's going to mess me all the way up. It might take a little bit to get the use to you guys, but it's actually a really nice keyboard. I would 100% recommend it if you have the budget for it. Um, if you are do, I would buy it for competitive purposes, especially Fortnite. Um, if you are just buying it to play like... Um, any like normal like solo games or something i honestly would just use a controller and all, by the way guys these keyboards are only supported by games that support controller support so if your game doesn't support controller support that is probably the reason it is not working for you guys so anyways guys leave a like down below and uh yeah see you all next time